it is peach season time here in Ohio. And so I thought, what, what better recipe to make up today than some peach cobbler with these fresh peaches I just bought. So we were using eight peaches that I had boiled ahead of time, just for a couple minutes, just to loosen that skin. And I do that because the skin comes off pretty easily. You lose less of the peach that way. But what I've noticed with this skin, it's very thin. These peaches are very ripe. So um, they're almost translucent. So I get, uh, get as much of the peel as you can off of it. So now that I've got these X's on the bottom, it, get, it shows me where I can grab onto the peel. And what I do is I just get under the peel and lift it up and just pull it down toward the bottom. But see how much of the peach we save this way? And pulling away from the peach just to get a hold of that peel. Sometimes you have to cut into the peach a little bit. These peaches are kind of like holding onto a bar of soap. Okay, once I get the peels down toward the bottom, what I do is just try to grab onto the peel and just pull it off and I'm just going to discard the peels. Okay, and then take my knife and I'm going to cut the peach in half. So I just go around it and then I use my knife to kind of pry it open and get my finger inside to break it apart. And then I take use my thumb and I just take that it out of there and then this is the part of the peach we're going to use and then with the halves I'm going to cut the each half into four pieces right. add them to my other peaches and then do one more I just slice the peach like this, half, get my finger inside and break it apart. Take the pit out. Slice my peaches up. Put them in the bowl. Now we're going to mix up the filling for the peach cobbler. First, I want to use a teaspoon of lemon juice, and this is the one wet ingredient. I like to mix this into peaches first, so I'm just going to pour it over the top of them. And just give them a little mix. So it's, I'm in a bowl then, uh, we're going to combine a quarter cup of white sugar, a quarter cup of brown sugar, a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon, two teaspoons of cornstarch, and an eighth of a teaspoon of some nutmeg into the bowl. So we have the filling mixed up together. I use a little fork, or take a fork and just make sure that I break down all the ingredients and that they're melt, well mixed together. And then we're just going to dump it on top of the peaches. This is going to give a really nice flavor to the peaches. And just mix it until it looks like it's evenly coated. And, and I also mix with a spoon. I use the side of the dish. Because if you get in there and just really mix it hard, you're going to break the peaches up. And I like to try to keep them in, sli the, in the slices look so they're not, not mushy and mashed. So I just slide it down the side of the bowl or the spoon down the side of the bowl. Now that looks pretty good. So the next thing I do 
is take my cast iron skillet. This is a 10 inch skillet and I'm going to dump this mixture right into the skillet. And just spread it around so that it's pretty even. That looks pretty good. Then this goes into the brick oven at 425 for 10 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and prepare my oven before I actually put this mixture in. So my oven is already cleaned. So now I'm going to set my timer for 10 minutes. I'm going to put this the peaches in the oven. Now we got all of our topping ingredients combined, all the dry ingredients. And then next what I do is put in the butter and it's six teaspoons of butter that I cut up into small pieces. It's still chilled. I'm gonna dump it right into the bowl. Now you can either at this point use your hands or you can use a pastry cutter to mash this into the bowl. What you're looking for is a crumbly look when it's mixed well. So. Now we got a crumble, and the last ingredient is gonna be a half cup of boiling water. Pour it on top, and mix it. You don't have to mix it a lot, just till it's pretty, just decently combined. All the dry stuff is absorbed into the water. And then the butter kind of melts right into it with the hot water. Now it's time to put the topping on the peaches. And I'm just dropping the um, topping on I'm trying to get it even through, throughout the top of the peach cobbler. Then the last part, last thing that we put on is going to be a sprinkle topping with some cinnamon and sugar. So I have my sprinkle topping that I call it. It's the cinnamon and sugar all mixed up. If there's any lumps, just use your fork and break those down so it's nice and smooth. And then the last step is just to sprinkle this topping over your peach cobbler to give it even an, another layer of yumminess. All right, now it's ready to go into the oven for 30 minutes and we're going to try to keep it right around 425 degrees. Here's 
our peach cobbler and I wish you could just smell what it smells like right now. It is it smells wonderful. Um, I hope that you try this recipe when you have some fresh peaches and uh, with a little bit of ice cream on top. It's just perfect. enjoy our videos and like the brick oven lifestyle please feel free to subscribe so we can send you new videos and updates mm -hmm.